So, sorry I got up too soon. Um, just a little bit too enthusiastic. Um, nuclear weapons are a 20th century technology and do nothing to meet current security challenges and put us at enormous risk. So what is Trident and what impact can it have? The firepower on one Trident submarine is greater than the explosive power of all the bombs dropped in World War II, including Hiroshima and Nagasaki. We all know that nuclear weapons are ecocides. Um, they not only kill through the force of the blast, but nuclear radiation attacks and destroys DNA as well, affecting our ability to reproduce and causes cancers. The Marshall Islands in the Pacific were used by the United States as a nuclear testing ground during the 1950s and 1960s. They exploded at least 70 bombs there. The consequences um, have led to the islanders having the highest rates, one of the highest rates of cancer in the world, and the birth defects that they're getting are absolutely terrifying. Um, children are born, women are having babies called jellyfish babies, so actually babies born without bones. Children are being born with their organs on the outside of their bodies. Go, uh, obstetricians can't believe that the children that they're giving birth to are human. People are giving birth to things that look like bunches of grapes. Some families are so appalled and terrified of having any more birth defects that they've decided to go extinct. Nuclear radiation from civil nuclear accidents like Fukushima um, is having a horrendous effect on child mortality and cancers. The child thyroid cancer in the Fukushima region of Japan, um, which previously stood at a rate of one up to five in a million, is now the equivalent of 650 in a million, something like a 650, between 350,000 and 650,000% increase. And it's happening around here too. Um, child, death from child leukemia around Newbury, Aldermaston, <coughs> atomic establishments is up to four and a half times the national average. So don't move around there if you're planning to have children. Of course, there's also a risk of accident. Um, human error is the most frequent cause. Since the 1940s, there have been over 128 accidents involving nuclear weapons. Um, seven or eight, no, eight nuclear submarines have been lost at sea, um, two by fire, two by explosions of their weapon systems, um, one by flooding, one on purpose, and one a complete mystery. Um, there's also risk of unintended use of nuclear weapons, either by accident or miscalculation. Nuclear war also affects climate change. If used weapons on just one Trident submarine could cause such climate disruption that global, global food supplies would be at risk and the survival of human civilization threatened. Nuclear weapons are also super vulnerable to cyber attack. Ian West, head of cybersecurity at NATO's Communications and Information Agency, says, according to a recent article in The Guardian, Every single day we're operational, we're experiencing attacks and defending against them. West Agency logs around 200 million suspicious events a week and many automatically discarded, but that leaves 250 to 350 serious cases each week against NATO HQ and its bases around the world. Cyber attacks are getting more and more sophisticated, taking control of utilities, capable of di disrupting G GPS systems, etc. I won't even touch on the submarine drones. It seems so easy to penetrate security. One technique has been to scatter a few UBS memory sticks around the car park or lobby of an, orga of an organization that's being targeted, knowing that somebody will pick one up and just plug it into their computer to see what's got on it, and bang, they're in. Operating, s operating systems for... I'm not taking interruptions. Operating systems for Trident are, for cheap sake, being run off something um, called Windows for Submarines, an off-the-shelf software. It's not inconceivable that by the time that Trident hits the water in 2028 or so, that 
hackers or in individuals or hackers from some loony state could take control of its operating system, turn it round, point it at us, and wipe out Britain if they wanted to. Some people say, we need them for status. We need to Trident for status. Tony Blair decided to go ahead with Trident for status reasons. Wrong again, Tony. We and other nuclear states are actually about to be sued by the Republic of the Marshall Islands uh, for our failure to comply with our commitments and obligations under international law to pursue negotiations for the worldwide elimination of nuclear weapons in breach of Article 6 of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. Great status, breaking our promise to try and create a safer, more peaceful world. On the side of the angels again, Tony, Tony, how do you do it? This is complete nonsense. A country's status is to do with its democracy, its economy, its educated population, its cultural contribution, its music, its art, its literature, its architecture, its inventions, its ability to problem solve, its attractiveness as a tourist destination, not because it has bankrupted itself by an obsolete and dangerous weapons of mass destruction, but the whole world in peril. Let's talk about jobs. Trident submarine building skills sets are exactly the same as would be needed for green renewable energy projects. We have the best rene renewable energy potential in Europe. Offshore wind, incredible tidal, 18 metre tides at Bristol, wave power from our extensive coast, constant deep marine currents, the equivalent of 200 mile an hour winds at two places, Anglesey and Oban. By investing in renewable energy rather than arms, the government would create more and better jobs as well as helping to build a greener and safer world. We could revive and revitalise British steel as, as a key component and make the UK a world leader in renewable energy technology. What else could we have instead of spending 100 million on Trident? We should concentrate on rebuilding the UK's battered economy and infrastructure, fully funded A&E services in hospitals, for, for, what's that for? It's a minute left. A minute left? Okay. You can read about that in our newspapers. Our real resource <laughs> is our educated population. The decision to, as to whether to proceed with Trident replacement or not is a decisive moment for Britain's future. It's a moment of truth. Continued commitment to nuclear arms is a path to extinction. This is your future. Get your voices heard. Get your friends to get their voices heard as well. You have the right to decide which way Britain is going to go. Democracy is government by the people, for the people. Millions have died for you to have a vote. This is your weapon. Use it. Contact your MP as soon as you can. Their job is to represent your views in Parliament, not as some of them seem to think, to take decisions on your behalf. The only thing that affects most politicians' behaviour is something that threatens their ability to get re-elected. Tell them your views on Trident and tell them that you not vote for them next time if they don't represent them. Thank you very much.